All of the major financial institutions, including Visa, MasterCard, Citibank, JP Morgan, and Wells Fargo, are collaborating in the cryptocurrency field to work on blockchain and settlement. We are going to have a conversation about it. A fantastic clip was provided to me by Brad Garlinghouse. The regulated liability network is going to be the topic of our conversation. In addition, I have some fantastic information on cryptocurrency that I have in the back of this article with Ripple Partners and Donald Trump. We are going to get into all of this, so get ready. Okay, let's get started right away. For Radar Hits, this is in the works. The technology of shared ledgers is currently being tested by major financial institutions such as MasterCard, JP Morgan, Visa, and Citibank. For tokenized asset settlements, and Bloomberg is the source of this information. This is a video that will go into a little bit more detail regarding this topic. The testing of a shared distributed ledger is being conducted by a consortium of financial institutions. A regulated settlement network will be tested by almost a dozen companies, including JP Morgan, Citi, MasterCard, and SWIFT, in order to tokenize commercial bank money and central bank money, U.S. Treasuries, in addition to other securities. That being said, the Securities, Industry, and Financial Markets Association is currently in charge of this project, and at the moment, it is merely a test. Despite the fact that the transactions are merely simulations, the network's primary objective is to enable the settlement of numerous assets around the clock. The Wall Street community has identified this as a significant potential benefit of blockchain. Technology. In the news release, Raj Damodaran, who is the executive vice president of blockchain and digital assets at MasterCard, stated that a shared ledger has the potential to unlock the next generation of market infrastructures. They are telling you that the largest banks in the world are telling you that all of this technology is moving to blockchain, that everything is moving to blockchain. You are aware that all of these transactions, including payments, security settlements, and other related matters, are going to take place on blockchains and numerous blockchains appropriate. One of the most wonderful aspects of all of this is that that is the most potent thing, in my opinion. This information was originally posted by Chad Sheengraber regarding the regular regulated liability network that included more than 10 participants. There will be an additional six contributors to the project who will contribute subject matter knowledge and may demonstrate the connectivity between the shared ledger and solutions from the outside. In addition to the nonprofit Mitri Corporation, they include BNY Mellon, Broadridge, the DTCC, the ISDA, and the TASIC Group. Are you correct in saying that they are involved? Indeed, this is a really significant matter. Speaking of the countdown, we are discussing T plus one. Permit me to display this to you in a very brief manner. As for the regulated liability network, there are a few rather significant actors related to this, and I demonstrated this to you on my channel approximately a few months ago. SWIFT is what you have here. EFIS is available at ANS in addition to BNY Mellon, HSBC, Lloyds Bank, and OCBC. Tony McLaughlin, who works for Citi, Treasury, and Trade Solutions, is here on your team. TD Bank, Wells Fargo, and U.S. Bank Corporation are all available to you. It doesn't get any bigger than this in terms of... Guys, it is going to be incredibly interesting to observe how this testing will turn out. In spite of the fact that we will have to wait and see how all of this testing turns out, it is quite encouraging to see these major companies in the Web 2 area and the payment sector working together on Web 3 solutions. Just so you know, that is exactly what we are discussing here. Exactly how thrilling is this? It's so thrilling. It is invigorating. All right, let me introduce you to Brad Garlinghouse, the man who invented the XRP ledger. While it is true that David Schwartz is the father, you are aware of what I am saying. Unfortunately, I am the father of Ripple. In the comments, ha you should be beating me up and you should be beating me up. There is a new episode available now featuring Brad Garlinghouse, the CEO of Ripple. We discuss Brad's amazing journey, which includes scaling Ripple and fighting against the SEC. Please play this video, which is one minute and 15 seconds long. After 50 years, the value of the United States dollar has decreased by more than 90% due to inflation, the waves of. Part present, advancements in technology that took place in areas where there are incredible tailwinds of value creation and opportunities. The chief executive officer of Ripple Labs, a developer of blockchain-based payment solutions, is Brad Garlinghouse. There is no way to avoid death if you do not take risks. We are not, not putting in enough effort if we are not experiencing some level of failure. In your experience, what are some of the most valuable insights you've gained regarding the process of attracting and securing a talent? One of the goals of a player is to make their mark on the universe. Money is not going to get you those things. One of my favorite ways to attract talent is to hire people who have previously been unsuccessful business owners a few years in what is likely the most volatile industry that we have ever witnessed. In your life, what has been the most extreme high and the most extreme low that you have experienced? 
During the time when we were being sued, Ripple was going through a fairly difficult period of time. A significant high was experienced when we discovered that we had won all of the things that we cared about, not only for Ripple, but also for the industry as a whole. If you had the power to convince everyone on the planet to believe something, what would it be that? You would like everyone to believe? It is the act of comparison that steals delight. Realizing that your pleasure is not contingent on the happiness of another person is a significant realization for the world. When it comes to the following cycle, do you have any predictions? At the moment, the crypto sector is the most significantly important space in the entire world. Do you agree that this is the place where all of the most recent technological waves are occurring and you are squandering your life if you are not paying attention, if you are not going to put in the effort right now to figure out which of these assets are going to simply explode and be used on a worldwide basis, then you are wasting your life? I'd like to reiterate that. That is a terrible use of your life. If you were to, a very tiny quantity of money should be invested in the appropriate cryptocurrency asset and then the numbers should be done in an insanely high manner. In other words, I've seen people invest $10, and if you had purchased $10 worth of WIF, it would now be worth $30. It's not like I'm very. Concerned about meme coins, to be honest, the widespread acceptance of assets that are going to be utilized to move quadrillions of dollars is something that I am concerned about. My attention is concentrated on this particular aspect because I am aware that the true value will be realized when that day arrives, when all of these financial institutions begin to implement this technology. The value of these assets will become apparent in the future. For the time being, the values of these assets and the assets themselves are all based on speculation, their actual use case and what they intend to perform on a worldwide scale are not taken into consideration when developing it. Recognize that, is that correct? What the cost is, is irrelevant to me at this point. This is something that I assure you of on a regular basis. I do not care what the price is right now. What the price is in three years, five years, and 10 years from now is something that's important to me because I believe that it will be a great deal more for your XRPS, your XLMs, your XLMs, your XLMs, your XDCs, and your quants. I believe that these are the assets that will be adopted by a large number of people. Let's proceed. Like this. Having said that, here you go. Do you agree that it is more or less the same? Some of the largest banks in the United States include JP Morgan, Wells Fargo, and others. Let me put an end to this. Some of the world's largest banks are beginning to explore the world of blockchain and ledger tokenized assets. The general consensus seems to be that everyone is moving in the same direction. A destination that is none other than XRP, the dazzling gem, is the destination. According to the claims of certain individuals, all of this technology is comprised of Ripple and XRP. It is not the case. In reality, it is not. Part of this material is quantitative. A portion of this material is comparable to R3 with XDC. It appears that some of this is HBAR. A great number of really good and exceptional assets are available. In addition, I believe that it is quite unfair to simply point everything at Ripple and XRP because, in reality, it is not men. Moreover, you should not allow certain individuals to convince you that it is because that is not the case. This was something that I really enjoyed. This is the top 100 cross-border payments in Singapore in 2024, according to the chat side, and it is also the top 100. You can see that this list is packed with Ripple partners if you take a look at it. The fact that there are so many cryptocurrencies that are integrated into the payments platform and will use the XRP USD USD stablecoin for settlement means that you do not require Ripple directly. You should keep in mind, guys, that you are allowed to utilize XRP, but in the event that the bank is unable to permit that kind of cryptocurrency, but there is regulation regarding stablecoins, they are able to use. Ripple stablecoin, which is going to probably have a really fantastic name. That is going to happen. Please provide us with the name of the Ripple Apex or XRP Apex Summit that will take place the following month. Exciting things.